Controversy continues to swirl around the death of Kendrick Johnson. The Valdosta teen found dead in a rolled up gym mat at Lowndes High School in 2013. Today, his family speaking out one day after the local sheriff's office released a synopsis saying his death was an accident. Johnson's family is accusing the Lowndes County Sheriff of lying and trying to cover up their son's death. Savannah Kelly is joining us live outside the Valdosta Courthouse right now where the Johnson family was protesting earlier today. Savannah. Well, the Johnson family said that they don't believe anything in the sheriff's report. They say their son was murdered. Family members of Kendrick Johnson were here outside the courthouse for nearly five hours today, chanting and holding signs. Nine years after Kendrick Johnson's death, his family is still fighting for answers. Protesting outside the Valdosta courthouse today after the Lowndes County Sheriff concluded there was no foul play. In a press conference today, Kendrick's father, Kenneth Johnson, called Sheriff Ashley Polk a liar. They are not capable of telling the truth of what happened to our people. Polk released a synopsis of an investigation from the federal government yesterday. The documents I've read and the things, the investigation I've seen, I, I'm a, I feel 100% sure there was no foul play. Kendrick was last seen alive in 2013 at Lowndes High School. The next morning, his body was found head down inside a rolled up gym mat. It's a terrible accident, in my opinion. But the Johnson family believes their son was murdered. We want the truth to be told. Even after nearly a decade of fighting, Kenneth Johnson says he's not giving up. And I will fight as long as I have to to uncover what exactly happened to Kendrick Johnson. In response to the Johnson family's accusations, Sheriff Polk said although he feels for their loss, he was only reporting the facts and that investigations by several organizations, including the FBI and Department of Justice, all found there was no evidence to suggest that Kendrick was murdered. Live in Valdosta, Savannah Kelly, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Savannah, we followed it from the start and we'll continue to do so. Thank you.